For the return of sports, the more time Nate Ryan has to monkey around at the El Paso Zoo. And the more time we have to enjoy it, right? Yes. Back by the demand, it's the Nature Report. Hands in the air, everybody, because we're swinging with the Siamangs at the El Paso Zoo. The way these primates walk is straight out of the underground tech scene. But since Siamangs are used to dwelling in the treetops of the rainforest, they have to equate for balance on the ground floor. Typically, Siamangs are arboreal, so they would mostly live in the trees all of their lives. But here at the zoo, they feel a little bit more comfortable coming to the ground. They're a little bit top heavy, so they do use their hands to keep their balance so that they don't fall over when they walk. This guy right over here just got into the coffee this morning. <laughs> It's a party of three here at the zoo, mom Sunny and youngsters Addie and Deja, but this trio has a touching backstory. Well, one of the most interesting things about the Siamangs here at the zoo is that the youngest of the bunch, Deja, was picked up through a foster program through zoos nationwide. Deja was originally born at the Pittsburgh Zoo and her parents were very, very young, so they weren't caring for her properly. So that's when that zoo decided that they should pull her so she could get the proper nutrients and care. And with Sunny the Siamang already a great mother to Addie, it was meant to be. So they reached out to us and they said, do you think that she would be a good foster parent? And we said, yes. So if MTV is looking for a new reality special, the foster monkeys at the El Paso <laughs> Zoo could be next in line. Uh, Stephanie, I'd like to report a borderland crime. Yeah, this is jacked it. Siamangs are territorial species. The exhibit at the zoo is made to depict the Asian rainforests where the endangered Siamangs live in the wild. But one aspect of the grounds reminded me of a place even I'm familiar with. Watching these guys struggle to keep their balance when they walk, and you've got the Green River here, the Siamang exhibit here at the zoo, might as well be Chicago St. Patrick's Day. For the Nature Report, Nate Ryan, ABC7. He is so observant. I bet you never thought you'd be doing your next Borderland Crimes podcast about monkeys. I know. I, that, that was incredible. He was just on it. Quite the culture shock, by the way, moving from Pittsburgh to El Paso.